So I'm gonna keep it real with you all. I've seen a lot of videos and posts about the current state of microtransactions in Halo, and while I think much of them lean into hyperbole, I do think that the current iteration of the store and how you earn things in the game is extremely lackluster. So, I'm going to be providing solutions rather than just complaining or attempting to compare the Halo store with others or the pricing between the games. Your time is worth more to me than to keep you around just to hear me say the same thing as everyone else. That being said, if you agree with me, go ahead and throw a like on the video as it helps the video get more traction. If you like me enough, throw a sub my way because we are on the grind towards 10k subs. And leave a comment about how you feel about the system right now. I will say that people are quick to get mad at others just because their opinions differ. And I feel like a lot of players think that Halo is made only for them. And that any change that they feel is for another part of the player base is negative and then they get mad towards you know others about their favorite game so the previous marketing from 343 or microsoft it's kind of hard to tell who is in charge of that kind of thing obviously they work in tandem but they kept talking about how much the customization was going to matter in halo infinite and how much we can do on one hand i look at what the game is it's free to play i treat it as such i personally don't have to own every shoulder accessory or emblem or whatever. On the other hand, do I wish we could just unlock these through gameplay or some challenge system? Of course. I think that there are people who do play the game just so that they can unlock every single armor. And obviously, with Halo being a legacy title, this new system has rubbed people the wrong way. So my feedback for this would be to add a currency system into the battle pass that can be used for the free players. Many games, if not all, that have a battle pass offer this form of basically paying players for their time. And if you know me at all, you know that I think that the developers, publishers, whatever, should be honoring and respecting the player's time up front. It's one of the most important things you can do in game development. Another way that you can honor the player's time and commitment to your game is adding credits to the capstone rewards for the weekly challenges. If you have players that are grinding out this content, they should be rewarded. Say you get 300 credits for doing the capstone each week. You do a whole month's worth and that's 1200 and that's enough for the $10 option in the store or you could just save, do some more weeklies and buy the 15 or $20 or maybe 343 will get lucky and that person will just buy $8 worth more of credits to get the $20 purchase. I feel like these are very simple solutions that have already had a place in other games and in the ecosystem. And I'm sure 343 is actually looking at it. Sketch did tweet, you know, that he hears all the feedback and stuff and that they're taking a much deserved break, which they are, for Thanksgiving. So this stuff is on their radar. I just think that the players or content creators need to apply that pressure and just don't let it slip under the rug. I also think that we need to talk about the event going on right now and while it's cool that Fiesta is back, the event overall feels very lacking. Maybe that's because we have been spoiled by other events and you know like VR games and stuff like that, but to me an event should be a celebration and there's just not that going on. What I really think is happening is that Microsoft or 343 is trying to maximize their monthly active users so that they can be like, you know, this many people played the game this month, our event brought all these people back, blah, 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 blah. And while events like this do force people to get on and play the game and grind out these challenges and whatnot, this type of incentive can be extremely damaging to the player base. We all get a free event battle pass, but half of the battle pass is just double XP boost and challenge swaps. And I think that there's something wrong if half of the pass is a token to help you level up twice as fast instead of just adding fluff, you know, cut down on how much experience you need to actually level up. It just seems very weird to me. I mean, I would love to see a system where, you know, they cut out the XP and challenge swaps and included credits towards anything in the store or even the next battle pass. Another large issue I have is the cross core customization in regards to armor coatings, visors, and things of that nature. I 10,000% believe that the coating system needs to be reworked to allow for the changing of colors across all cores. I do not understand why I can't use my eSport skin on my Mark 5B or why it has to be a kit in the first place. I think that there still would have been backlash from the community regarding the cross-core customization even if 343 added just visors and armor coatings and things like that to be swapped. 
But at the bare minimum, I think that that's what needs to be changed. I think it's a very dangerous slope when you start to double dip on microtransactions for armor coatings that are available on one set and not on the other. But like I said, Sketch had tweeted, you know, in June or July that they were looking at cross core customization stuff. So hopefully it's sooner rather than later. I understand that we've never had to really buy stuff in Halo before. In Halo 5, as bad as the Rex system was, we could earn all that armor just by grinding out the game and getting those rec packs. But in Halo Infinite, it's not like that at all. And the system needs to change. The core gameplay of Halo is extremely fun. There are a few tweaks that I would like to see, but really we're just looking at the biggest flaws in the game being this customization stuff and the XP. And while they're working on the XP, I would much rather see them talk about the cross-core customization and how they plan on fixing it. If they plan on fixing it at all. That open line of communication, especially after the months leading up to Halo Infinite's beta release, talking about customization and how, you know, day one there will be millions of options and I still see people running around with the default armor. The body of customization content that we have on day one ensures that there will be millions of customization combinations for Spartans on the battlefield. Codings offer us a unique opportunity to craft some hyper polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before but that's going to do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i will catch you in the next one peace